What it do? JJK Crew. JJ Crew, stand up. All right, guys, check this out. You know, I've been seeing the recent live action One Piece. They're making, there's rumors for like a one, live action Naruto. And, you know, eventually they're going to have to go to the greatest anime ever made, the money maker, Jujutsu Kaisen. Check this out, guys. You know, while they haven't got the cast out just yet, I'm going to throw my hat in to be the casting director because I got all the right opinions about the show. And listen, guys, I think I'm going to make the greatest, like, Netflix show, movie series of all time with these picks I got. So let's just get straight into it. First up, we got Yuji. This guy, he loves punching people real hard. And um, I got just the right person to play Yuji. Jake. Paul. And I know what you guys are saying, how could you put Jake Paul in? He's such an asshole. Listen guys, I don't give a fuck about what Jake Paul did, but he's the goat of modern boxing. He's knocking out fools left and right, like just like my boy Yuji. So listen, they look literally the same. Alright, you can't tell me otherwise. Color this man's hair red, cut that stupid beard off, and you literally gotta walk and talk in Yuji. Right? He already knows how to do Black Flash in real life. He's gonna knock out Mike Tyson, give him a check, and put him straight in the show as Yuji. Alright, next up we got the main character, Gojo. My little pookie bear. And, you know what, this one's kind of tough, you know, because Gojo is literally perfect. It's kind of hard to find perfect people in real life. But, you know, he really is the goat of all anime. Dare I say fiction. So, you know, I gotta get a nice uh, casting choice for this. Because whoever this is, they're gonna make billions of dollars off this role, you know. We need somebody the women love. We need someone the men will love. And, you know, I got, I think I got the right pick, you know. This man, he's he's flying off a high off of his last roll. And we got Oppenheimer, bro. Guys, this guy already has Limitless activated. And you can't tell me that if you just don't color his hair white, this guy is literally Gojo. I'm sorry, guys. The women love him. The men love him because he's literally Oppenheimer. We're all literally him. So, yeah, I think this is a perfect casting choice. Next up, we got our favorite little bitch, Megami. Um, so, you know, I was I was sifting through all the casting choices, trying to find the biggest pipsqueak in Hollywood. And, you know, I was originally going to pick Tom Holland because I just don't like the guy. He's short. He's weak. Um, but not going to lie, I think I got, but like, you know, everybody loves Tom Holland for some reason. So it has to be like a choice that like, nobody likes. So I think I got the right choice. Timothy the Chalamet or whatever the heck this guy's name is. Listen. I know everybody hates this guy, apparently. Um, and he's kind of a pipsqueak. He looks like Megami already. Um, he kind of looks like some guy you would shove in a locker, you know. Punch him once, his bones break. So I think this guy's a perfect choice for Megami, if I'm going to be completely honest. Next up, we got Nabara, the only woman in JJK. So you know what? i got to get the right casting choice because we, we, we need female representation. And um, not going to lie, I think I got a good one. We got Ice Spice, my future ex-wife. Bro, tell me you're not seeing. They have literally the same hair color, the same haircut, kind of. Bro, same personality. I think this is a perfect casting choice. Listen, she's the greatest rapper of our generation. And I think if you put her in the role, people are going to come to watch this movie. We got the women's symphony for Gojo or Oppenheimer. We got the men's symphony for Ice Spice and Gojo as well. But like, listen, guys, this, this, this is like literally perfect. This is easy money, guys. Next up, we got the goat, Nanami. And not gonna lie, guys, this is so easy. We got my host, Mad Nicholson, as we call him over here. This guy's the goat. He literally looks the same. They're both German. Um, and like, yeah, bro, this is easy as fuck. I'm not even gonna take credit for this one. Next up, we got Aura Maxing, Mana Maxing, the only Samoan, the only Hawaiian in all anime, Toto. Listen, guys, I was, you know, there's only one legendary Samoan in all of Hollywood, and it's easy as fuck. It's, it's The Rock, bro. Literally The Rock. They're the same guy, bro. Just put some hair on this guy. Put a scar on him. They act the same, bro. The Rock is going to be yapping about the mana, bro. And they're going to be literally built one for one. Yeah, and just tell me you don't want to see a scene where, like, Jake Paul and The Rock are popping off against Hanami. Like a CGI Hanami. So, it's pretty good. Next up, we got the GOAT. The best character of all time. Pinhead. You know, I was deliberating, should we make him CGI? And I'm like, hell no. This is one of the goats. We got to make him casted by a famous actor. Listen, I was scrolling through like a bunch of um, small people in Hollywood. And I don't know. They, they, I don't know if they're cut out for this role. But I think I found one guy who embodies Pinhead pretty well. We got Kevin Hart. 
Just look at this guy, though. Tell me this is guy isn't built to play Pinhead. They both got the funny, goofy personality, you know? The, like, I could perfectly see Pinhead finding Gojo and be like, He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. And get pop, slapped in the head, you know? But Kevin Hart is a tough guy. He's a tough cookie. So he's ready to play like someone like Pinhead, you know? You know, like trade a hands with Gojo, you know? I don't know. This guy's a funny guy. We need a comedian for Pinhead because he's a comedian. You know, he's a funny guy until he fucking burns your ass. Next up, we got the next goat of the series. There's too many goats, you know, but this guy is like, as I said before, he's like literally responsible for half of the series' success. We got all the, um, we got all the people who love Toji, you know, they're like, you know, they're crazy, bro. But I think I got the perfect choice for Toji, you know? We got John Bernthal. Hey, listen, man. All right, let me tell you something, man. This guy is literally Toji. I'm sorry, bro. This guy's always mad. All his roles, he's somewhat deranged. And I could perfectly imagine, they could change Toji's dialogue, but imagine he goes up to Oppenheimer, he's like, hey, listen, man, hey, listen. And he's gonna fucking whoop his ass, bro. And then he's gonna get his ass kicked, bro. This guy's born to play him, you know? This guy's, this guy's a savage, bro. I don't, I don't gotta say much else. Next up, we got the GOAT. This is really easy. We got my Pookie Bear LeBron champs. All right, that's it for today's video. See ya.